Hey everybody, today we are doing a fall-ish type nail look. I kind of wanted to mix my pastels with a fall motif. I did have a request for turkey feathers. I did already prep my nails. As you can see, I've got some stuff already going on. I painted on a, a pink color and um, I don't think this has a name. It has like a number on it so if you're able to get that number more power to you um so that's the color and then on all but one of my fingers i put on this like uh i i don't know what you call glitter maybe a confetti gel and um i guess it's called sparkling coral neon and this was given to me by my mom i don't know where she got it so uh, I don't know. I can't tell you where you can find it. Uh, if you can find it, great. If you find something similar, great. If you can't find it, you can just skip this or use a different glitter. Uh, anyway, so that's the confetti that you see on my nails. So got all that prepped and ready to go. I have a uh, no-wipe top coat on everything. I am going to repaint this red, re-top coat it, and we'll be back. All right, we're back. So we have the ring finger painted red now. Oh gosh, it just sticks like a big old ball. Okay. Hmm. I mean, look at that. Well, let's top coat this. We'll do it to the other hand and we'll be right back. I have a piece of cardboard here. I have a little bit of water to my side here and I have some acrylic paint here. It's just regular acrylic craft paint. And I'm gonna take a dollop. Probably don't even need that much. You can use a piece of plastic. You can use a ceramic tile, a piece of glass. Uh, you don't have to use a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to take a little bit of my water, put like a couple drops over on my paint and mix it a little bit to thin it out. I'm choosing white, as you may have noticed for this nail art. You could use whatever color you like. I figured the white would pop nicely against the gold. Uh, now I'm taking one of my wipes here and just making sure that I don't have extra water on the, I forget the name for the metal part of this paintbrush. I'm wiping off to make sure there's no water on the handle of my brush um, so that I don't have a big drop of water, you know, drop down right at the most wrong moment uh, while I'm making my art. So I'm going to do just a single feather, um, I think. And so I'm going to start with a teeny tiny brush. I'm going to start with just a swoop. That was not the shape I wanted. So, great thing about acrylic paint, take your little little uh, wipe and just wipe it off while it's wet. Let's try it again. And make the handle part of our feather. Okay. And if you look at the shape of a feather, they usually have like these little fluffy bits kind of at the base. I'm trying to do this so that you can see. And then they'll have uh, the little um, fibers going straight out from the spine, kind of like in the same direction. I'm going to thicken up this little Part at the bottom a little bit. Make that look a little more purposeful. And that's my feather. So we have our swoop again. We have our bits that kind of shot here. 
bits that kind of fluff out from what will be the base of the feather. And so hard to show you guys. Okay. Well, that's going to have to do. All right. And do our little fibers that are in the direction of the same direction, I should say. Okay, so we have another feather. I think that turned out okay. Uh, once this is dry, we'll put on a top coat and I will come back and show you. One moment. We're back. Thank you for waiting. Although for you, I guess that would be not very long. Um, so we are all cured up here and good to go. Uh, so a little bit closer again. We have a feather on our ring finger, feather on our ring finger. Uh, other fingers have um, a pink color with a coral orangey confetti type uh, top coat on it. Um, we did the gold uh, effect with a gold chrome powder over a red uh, base color. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope you found that entertaining or learned something. Please give this a thumbs up, uh, share, subscribe, leave a comment. All those things help me out. Um, and I hope I get to see you in the next video. Bye.